criticisms, and it, I mean, we're jumping ahead and jumping back, but that's one of the criticisms by people that I think it's a foolish criticism for me about you being too too close to the side you're writing for, almost as if it's propagandist in a way. It's not necessarily that. It's just a matter how of. You, but how do you how do you respond to that like that accusation? I think it's the only way we're going to hear these stories properly told, unless you said give her you know listen listen to everyone, which nobody's going to listen to everyone. Uh, There's a. Ver- I think it's the only way to get that that story. Otherwise, you're standing across that chasm and kind of guessing and sure. assuming and sure. and and not actually. I mean, why even go there? Why not just watch them news feed and make it up? There's a variety to me. What it is, where those criticisms come from, is there's a variety of truths that we're not talking about. Right. And those truths involve that we are on occupied territory. Let's say it Number again. one, we live on occupied territory. That's correct. This is the South Africa that never resolved itself with the truth. and recon- Not that South Africa is like, oh, now it's fine. I'm just saying, like, this is 400 years later yes. and not a lot has changed. In no. fact, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Uh, there are treaties that have been signed under, you know, terrible conditions. Yep. Uh, totally disregarded, totally abused. Um, these papal bulls that determine that people who aren't Catholic or Christian or whatever don't have the right to own land. Like everything under the sun has been done here, and now here we are in 2015, and these things are still not resolved. And these truths are still not being addressed. Yes. So I don't think that's like a radical perspective. I don't think that's propaganda. And I don't think that's like siding with the Mi'kmaq people. That's just true. Like, that's just true. That's what it is. And I don't know if it's like generally people don't know this or if people just care to ignore this or if people just really like or if they know and they just don't give a shit. Right. Pardon my language. But... Like, I do. I care where I live. I care whose land I'm on. And, you know, like, there's something to say when you travel around the world. I've been around the world, and I'm a, a relatively quiet person when I'm in another country. I'm quiet. Good guest. I'm calm. I'm a good guest, right? Respectful That's guest. what I try to be. Right. And we know the difference. Yes, we do. When we go to another country, yeah. we're respectful. Right. We're Canadian, we're calm, we're polite, we learn a few words from the dictionary, we go see the sights, like all that stuff. And then we get back here and we just shit in the bed. Yeah. And it's not our bed. And that's the point. That's the whole point. So is that the most important thing to be talking about? It's not always the most important thing to be talking about, but I think it's the way we start off everything that we should be talking about. I agree. And from there, we can have a lot of different conversations Mm -hmm. about a lot of different issues.